Hey everyone, it's me again. So I recorded a video earlier and I told you I was going to do one tonight um, with shout outs and I actually I recorded one on my phone and once again I'm having uploading problems. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my leg itched. <laughs> um, I'm having uploading problems um, from my phone. So that kind of sucks, but I'll just, I'll do it again. And uh, bear with me if it gets dark. My lamp just uh, blew the bulb and I don't have another to replace it. So, um, anyway, so, God, I had so much to talk about earlier and I had it all on a little post-it note and I threw it away because I already made the video. Okay, I want to start out with Miss Andy Jean, 88. So, Andrea, I, um, I see you're on P2 as well and... You know, I don't really know who else is on P2 right now. I know you are. I know Steferu85 is. I know HCG Housewife is. And, and Rilla's Villa. But other than that, I don't know. I, it seems like a lot of people are on P3 right now. So anybody that's on P2, um, you know, so am I. So there's that. But um, anyway, Andrew, it's good that you're on P2 as well. We did uh, round one. It was kind of... We kind of did that one at the same time, too. So it'll be nice to have kind of a, a P2 buddy. Um, I was only able to watch half of your video asking for help from HCG Vets, which I definitely am not. But um, I, I watched that, and then I was able to watch a little bit of the second video that you posted today at work, but I didn't want to get fired for watching YouTube videos. So I... Um, I watched that and as, as much as I could and from what I can see it seem, seems like you've got a plan of action which is good and I remember back at the end of my last round I was seeing really crappy losses there at the end and I didn't know why and I really think that it's because I wasn't eating enough calorie I wasn't eating enough in general so um, I upped my protein and I, I saw that big loss right there at the end. So hopefully that works for you. I think you're doing the right thing. Um, I wanted to point out how thin your face looks, though, in this video. I mean, like no double chin. Like, I mean, I don't want you to think that, like, I was noticing the double chin before. It's just like when I talk, you can see, like, I have this, like, turkey gobbler. You have nothing. Your face just looks so thin. So I can definitely tell. I don't know if that's from this round or not. But remember that on slow days, you probably are losing inches. So keep up with those measurements. And you look great. And I know you're not cheating. Just stick with it and, and keep drinking your water. But I'm rooting for you. So then the other, let's see, Stefaroo. Uh, I watched your video today. It broke my heart. Uh, when you were talking about your family, because, you know, I've been, I have kind of the same thing going on. My sister, she's super, like, skinny, which, what am I saying? Like, she's super, she's about 140 pounds, which is what you are today, by the way. Congratulations on that. And, um, that's amazing. Um, but I understand what you mean about people saying things like, oh, you look so much better now, or you're beautiful now, or, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, screw you, like, you know. What was I before? I was fine before, right? I mean, so it really sucks. But, and like with me, my mom, she'll say really offhand comments. Even now, even after I'm, I'm down almost 20 pounds from where I started, she still like can't just leave it alone and just be like, I loved you before, but I love you now too. It, it always makes you feel like the fat you, they loved less. Does that make sense? I don't know. It pisses me off too, but I don't, I mean, you can take this advice or you can not take this advice. This is just how I deal with it. I've just realized that that's who they are. That's just who they are and they're not going to change. That's who they've been their whole life. My sister has always been thin and I have always been big and she has always been very insensitive as has, has my mom to my weight. And you know, it, it's, hard to get your expectations up that they're going to be better. You, you want to expect them to be better because they're your family and you want them to do better for you. But from what I have found, having those expectations, it doesn't work out for me. And all it does is make me bitter and resent both of them. And so I've just tried to tell myself that I'm sure that there are offhand things that I have said 
to my sister, maybe about school or sports or something like that that have made her feel insecure. And I might not have realized it and honestly didn't care at the time. And so I, I'm, I'm trying to just be a little bit, give them a little pass on things like that, on really insensitive things. Because you look beautiful. And you looked beautiful when you started. So, you know, but sometimes family, they just, they don't get it. They don't understand. So, um, you know, I don't know if you want to do what I do and just kind of say, fuck you guys, like, you know, but that's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at. I just have no expectations for them now so that they don't have to live up to anything, <laughs> which is kind of pathetic, but, okay, so, Rilla's Villa, you are almost at your 40-pound goal. I saw that today. That's awesome. So keep up the good work with that. Um, I know that you're getting kind of, seemed like you're getting a little bit frustrated. Your body might be just ready for a break, like ready for a P3. Um, but you will get there. I have no doubt. You're so positive. You have the best attitude. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I don't really even understand cycling, but, um, after watching your vlogs, I would like to learn more about it. So I think I'm going to do some research on that tonight. Because I've heard a couple people mention it, but you're the only person that I follow that's actually implementing cycling. So, um, anyway, I just, it's, 40 pounds is something to be really proud of. 35 pounds is something to be really proud of. 10 pounds is something to be really proud of. So, I mean, you should just be on cloud nine right now. You look great, and, and I hope you, uh, you realize that. Um... I knew I was going to forget people. HCG Candini, um, you are just like kicking ass on P3. Um, four pounds below LDW, really? Like, I am super jealous of that because I, my body wasn't ready to stabilize, I don't think, at my LDW, so I just let it stabilize two pounds up. Your body, it seems like, isn't ready to stabilize at your LDW, so it's wanting to stabilize below. All I can say to that, and this is just, if it was me, you don't have to take this advice, I would just, if I know that I'm eating the correct number of calories, I'm exercising and I'm doing everything right, let your body do what it's going to do. I mean, it will stabilize eventually, but listen to it. If it's telling you I want to go down, don't complain. <laughs> if you're doing everything right, if you're getting all your food in and you are, you know, you know you're doing it right, I say stick it out. You're perfect. Um, and you look great. You do. Um, graphics girl, you are doing, you know, P4 right now. Just rolling right along in P4. You look great as usual. HCG Housewife, I tried to watch your video today. It looks like you had a goose egg today. Um, that's okay. It's an inch day. <laughs> I'm sure you're just shrinking away. So keep up. I, I have so much to catch up on, guys. I'm really sorry. And I know that I've left a crap ton of people out. So, um... Yeah, I'm really sorry that this kind of sucked, but those were just a couple of the ones that I wanted to, to respond to. People that have been kind of with me from the beginning, and, you know, I'm always really proud to see them doing so well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to be better about commenting and watching and everything, but it has been so crazy. So, anyway, I hope everybody keeps up the good work, and I will hopefully talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.